Hey, so I'm back, and you're back, which means hopefully you've got droning, or dronin', <laughs> flashed onto your uh, Emacs Nighthawk Pro 280, and that means you're ready to set it up. So, what we're going to do is find our serial port that it's on. I've already got it plugged in, and I know it's on COM7. Uh, that was connected previously, so we'll hit connect. It'll come up. And as I pointed out in the last video, you're going to have some uh, warnings going on here. Manual control means your inputs are wrong. Actuator means your outputs are wrong. And if we come over to flight data, sure enough, they're both red. Big, bright red. Easy enough, though. We'll go to Welcome Vehicle Setup Wizard. This will walk you through setting up the quad. We'll hit Next. It's just going to confirm our board. Hit next again, and input signal does not have to do it on this one. We'll do that manually in just a minute. Multi-rotor is our vehicle type, quadcopter X. Uh, you will probably be able to use OneShot 125 with the Emacs Nighthawk uh, Pro 280. The uh, ESCs on there should support it. If not, you can fall back to the 400 Hz Turbo PWM mode. I know mine, I've flashed mine to run the latest version of BL Heli already, so I know I'm safe with one shot. But you should be able to run this with uh, the version of BL Heli that comes stock, I believe. Uh, so now it's going to do a uh, sensor calibration where you just let the quad sit level, flat, and still. Once it's done, we can hit Next, and we're going to calibrate the motors. This should be done with a battery attached, uh, and no props. I don't have a battery handy right now, but I know what the values are for mine, so I will demonstrate how it would work. Basically, you're going to do this for each motor. You're going to hit Start, and it's now sending a signal, but the motor still won't be turning. So you're going to move that up up, up, and I like to click here to take it in a chunk, until it starts to move. Somewhere right around here the Emacs will start to move. Then you'll try turning it down, it'll probably stop. You want to find the lowest point where it runs and stays running, which I know right about there is going to be good for me. So I'm going to hit stop, and then next, and do it for the next motor. Now if you pay attention when you're doing this, you'll notice that your motor numbering and positions aren't going to be matching up with how your uh, motors are. So we're going to have to fix that, and we'll do that in just a minute. So let me finish these. And we're going to save this configuration. Done. Next, it's going to offer to run the radio setup wizard. We can't yet, because we didn't set up our input. So we're going to hit Finish, and we're going to go down to Configuration. And right here on Hardware, we're going to set what our ports are up for. Now in my case, I am using PPM, so by default this is set up for me. If you're using a serial mode, you'd want to change this to Serial, and then set your mode here, such as... Uh, there's HOTT, uh, where is uh, DSM, if you're running a uh, DSM satellite. And there should be, I thought, one or two others here. I don't know, I don't use them very often. So, anyway, you can set your DSM mode if you're using DSM here. And... Uh, yeah, I'm already set up with PPM, so we can apply, save, and go to the input tab. Actually, let's fix that motor issue first that I was telling you about. That'll be on vehicle. And here's where we can remap the motors and how they go. So I happen to know on here we want to go 4213.
which will convert us from the standard naze wiring used on the board to what Dronin is expecting. So again, apply, save. And you can test this by going to the output tab. Uh, oh, I do like to have motor spin at neutral. So apply, save. Uh, you can do the test outputs just like in uh, clean flight and base flight, where it'll start your motors. You agree, yes. And then up here, you can use the, the slider. And it won't do anything until you move it, but as soon as you move it, that's what it's sending. So be ready for it when you grab one of these. And you can make sure that the motors are in, you know, this is southeast, and you make sure that this one's really the motor to the southeast that's spinning. Okay, I'm not going to save that, but we're going to go to Input tab, and we are going to run the configuration with... Whoa, slight hiccup there. Yeah, I had to go grab a battery for this part so my receiver would have power. Um, what I'm going to do, actually, is disconnect the battery that I just went to get. And since we've already applied and saved all our changes, I'm going to disconnect the board and I'm going to unplug it and let it power down before we continue. Then I'm going to connect it back up and I'm going to hook a battery up so that I have uh, full power to my receiver. Connect and we will go to input and we will start the configuration wizard. It's going to set us to always disarmed for safety. And we're going to say next. We're going to be mode 2, most of us I assume. Next. This should be a standard acro uh, transmitter, not heli. Next. And it's going to show us what to move. And all you have to do is move whatever it shows you to move and it will detect your settings. So, let me see here, flight mode, accessory zero, accessory one, accessory two, I'm going to skip by hitting next, arming, all right, now we're going to center all of our controls. Hit next, and we're going to move all of our controls through their full range. And you can now hear my ESCs beeping at me in the background because they have not been given the attention they feel they deserve. Poor little ESCs. They're going to go neglected a little bit longer because while they're annoying me, I can't really do anything about it. There we go. Next. Now, You'll almost always find your pitch is reversed. So we'll select pitch, and now it works the way we expect. Everything else should pretty much work usually. And it's going to test fail safe, so I'm going to turn off my radio. It detected. We can turn my transmitter back on. We appear to be working reliably, so we can go next. And one last check that everything looks like it's reacting correctly. Boom. Now we select our arming method. I am going with yaw, right, and throttle. Uh, you could go with switch or whatever. And I like to keep my arming timeout short because that ties into fail safe. So apply save. And we're going to go to flight mode switch settings. We are going to set up uh, we default here to leveling, which is an auto level mode, acro and stabilized one, which down here is set up as attitude, attitude, and axis lock, so basically leveling again. I want to switch so that I like having acro first, then horizon, and then for now, auto tune. Usually I'll put acro. Acro Plus there, but for now we want Auto-Tune. Apply, save, and we're going to come down to the Auto-Tune bit and enable the Auto-Tune module. Apply, save. Okay, at this point we should be configured. Um, it would still be a good idea to, of course, 
Come over here to the Outputs tab and calibrate your ESCs if you haven't. And then uh, basically you'll come back to flight data and you should have no more errors. I'm getting a system config probably because I haven't rebooted since I uh, enabled. Let me disconnect power off. It, it doesn't like having the uh, uh, what do you call it, um, auto-tune flight mode available on a switch unless you have the module enabled, and the module needs a reboot to become enabled. So there you go, now my system can fix green after a reboot, plug in my RC battery, and I'm all green, ready to fly. I should be able to give it my arming input, and I don't quite have my motor speeds up where I should, but I'm able to arm. Hey, how do you like that? I got pop-ups. So, there we go. Um, that's basically all there is to it, to doing the initial setup. You're welcome to go through and check anything else in here, but that should be enough to get you in the air. Uh, next, we'll be doing your first auto-tune, and I will do another video on that with some actual flying in it where things get more exciting, hopefully. So, hope this helped you, uh, hope you enjoy droning, and I hope this uh, is one that you'll give a thumbs up to, and maybe get somebody to subscribe. So, huh, it's time for me to get some sleep though, been a long day, and this video's not helping. So, hope it helps you. We'll see you.